Hello, this is High Templar with a new episode of my Total War Warhammer Mechanics videos. Today we'll be talking about Fear and Terror, so this will be the second part of my leadership slash morale vids that I've done a week ago. Let's have a look. We see here Moonhowlers, an excellent light cap, which I love those guys very much. They are very fast, they have decent mala attack and defense, and also they have fear. What is fear? We can read that fear, this unit frightens all enemy units, reducing their morale or leadership when they are nearby. So nearby means they have to be close to, to get this effect. And also, if you cause fear, you are immune to fear. So that means moon howlers will not be frightened by undead, will not be frightened by enemy units that cause fear. And finally, Fear penalties do not stack, so if you have 10 zombies, you only have one penalty for fear. So stacking them up together will not make enemy units run away. Alright, so we know that. We know what fear is. Now, here we have a small battle. Orc boys facing Gorherds. Gorherds slightly superior infantry, but the Orc boys are decent. However, Gorherds have this thing called Primal Fury. If leadership is over 50, they have plus 4 mana attack, plus 8% charge bonus, plus 12 speed, and immune to psychology. What does immune to psychology mean? Well, it's immune to psychological attacks like fear and terror. That means cannot be frightened, cannot be terrorized. Will not have this uh, negative effect Moonhallers will not have on them. I mean, will they? It's actually pretty funny that uh, the Primal Fury in any of those similar skills, they are making units immune to psychology only when the leadership is over 50%, because if the leadership is over 50%, it doesn't matter. It doesn't make any difference. Fear and Terror does provide negative things to the leadership and it will make units run away, but only if leadership is low enough to make them run away. So this immune to psychology, this, this primal fury is not very useful. But let's see that in action. Let's see those guys charge onto each other. In slow motion. All right, we have a contact. We have a lot of contact here. Once the moon howlers are going from the behind. Now, at the moment, after they finish charging, those guys have a base value of 60, charging of 50 still, and already sustained some damage because of this charge into the green skin orc boys. They do not have any other modifiers right now and if you go into this unit it's eager charging. This uh, effect that it displays charging right now, it will display most powerful morale effect that's working on the unit at the very at this moment. Obviously charging plus 15 is a huge modifier so it will be displayed in here. Let's have a look what will happen if we will put a moon howlers in their back. Now, moon howlers are pretty close. And those guys, now they finish charging, the biggest modifier is sustained damage, bigger than exposed flank. They still have immune to psychology. But what is happening here is uh, those moon howlers are pretty close and they are still not making a fear on the Gorherds because Gorherds are immune to psychology. Also, it, the range of the fear is actually around the flag, basically. So, if you have a very wide formation, you can have a contact with the enemy 
before it will go into the range of fear. Rem remember that. And we've gotten into the back of the gore herds. Now they dropped to 19 because they were attacked in the rear. They still have a immune type psychology, they still have a primal fury, even though their leadership is below 50%. Now we have to re remember that terror, fear, and uh, modifiers that the abilities that uh, reflects on the modifiers, even routing, is uh, there is a delay before you actually go to certain level of leadership and it will be applied. It's usually one and two seconds. So for now, those guys still have a primal fury, but that will not, mm, these are my actually my old boys. Now, what is happening here? After like a second of fighting, we have our 60 base leadership dropped to four because they were attacked in the rear, they are frightened by enemy units, minus 10. They are losing and they are faster, stronger enemies nearby. So, as you can see, they lost their buff, because they lost their buff they are losing, also they were attacking the rear, that's why they are losing. And they are gone in seconds. Minus 7 already. Right? And this unit is running away, shattered. That fight lasted like few seconds. It was few seconds. Moonhowlers lost two guys. Yeah, the orc boys did lose 30, but in charging of those low armor, low defense, high charge units, you would be losing most of your units on the charge. But we didn't kill many of them. 17, 43? And those guys already shattered. I mean, the moment when we shattered those Gorherds, uh, like uh, two seconds ago, that was actually 30 some and, and 15 or 14. So that means we almost haven't paid any kills on those Gorherds. And they shattered and it lasted for a few seconds. So this is... And they wouldn't. They wouldn't have shattered if we wouldn't have fear, because if you, if I will be able to pinpoint the Gorherds right now, you can see that, yeah, they 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 would be they would be with the fear right now because they have sustained heavy damage. But that damage they have sustained was pretty much after they start ra running away. So basically they would be close to shattering right now and if we didn't break their morale they would still have uh, this frenzy with additional melee attack charge and everything. So this is how fear works and also how you should take down Gorards and the answer is fast. Alright, so this is, uh, this is how fear works. Let's have a look at Terror and let's have a look at those ranges and similar things. Like I said, with the ranges it's pretty problematic because you would have to stand there for a moment, for like a second or two, to fear actually apply to the units around you. But it can happen. Now here we have a unit of Night Goblins. Night Goblins are not immune to psychology. They have stock, they have spinning loons, Vanguard deployment. They have leadership 45, but 5 because their flanks are secured. And we have Forest Dragon, which could cause fear and terror. Let's, let's have a read on what does terror do. This thing cause terror making a melee target route for a short time. So if I attack a unit, it will make them route for a short time. Units can cause terror and immune to terror and fear themselves. So again, if I have a terror, I immune to any fear or terror. 
So you ask what? If I attack, the unit will route for like few seconds? No, that's not that simple. You will actually, the unit will actually run away. If their morale is low enough. And we will see that right now. Because if I attacked like uh, dwarves, they wouldn't route. They wouldn't route because you have to be close to routing to make terror work. And the other thing is that if the unit is terrored, if the unit is terrored, it cannot be terrored for next minute, which is also very important. Now they have stronger and faster enemy nearby. So stronger and faster enemy nearby is actually have a wider range than fear. Now the dragon is descending, we still have no fear, but we do have flanks exposed and faster and stronger as enemy nearby, right? It always takes a second to apply. And now the dragon is in them and they dropped to 12. Because attacked on the rear, because they are frightened right now, the fear is working. And still are faster and stronger as enemy nearby. Flanks are no longer a problem, but we could have another unit on the flank to make them route faster. Or we can actually charge them in a side to apply another minus six. You've seen that before. But we are not we are not here to talk about this, we are here about to talk about terror. So let's have a look at this. Obviously those guys are now shaken, attacked in the rear, because attacked in the rear is the most powerful debuff. And we've done, we have sustained damage minus two, that's nothing. But the other buffs are pretty strong. Fear and attacked in the rear are the most powerful two buffs. Still, nothing happening for those guys. Another attack by a dragon. And now damage sustained is actually minus 6. And something very interesting is happening here. Those guys are terrified. They are wavering. Now, the terrifies works. Because they were very low on morale even though they have 6 leadership. They are running away. They are routing. It's the end for them. So, this unit is out. And you can see that obviously the army has lost, so there will be more negative bonuses. It no longer displayed leadership as it should. But even if you add those, attacked in the rear, and then damage sustained, that's 20, frightened, that's 30, and faster, stronger enemy by that 34. That still doesn't add up to 40. So they still have six leadership and they are still running away. And this is the end of the combat. That is for those guys. Shattered, terrified. That's how terror works. It will, however, work only and only if the base morale is pretty low. So you can see it worked quite beautifully here. We just got in and we destroyed this unit. We could have skirmished similar goblin units or the... well, it would also work for the trolls, but trolls have fear themselves, so fear wouldn't work on them, but the terror would. Right? And yeah, this is it. As you can see, you can win those battles without doing a lot of work. You just have to make them run away. And you can make them run away one unit and then run away the second one and then run away the third one. And then when the first one will be going back from routing, you can charge it again. This is very, very useful in multiplayer. So this is it. I hope you like it. If you did, press like, comment if you will, and see my other videos. I'm doing Total War Warhammer mechanics, DLC analysis and speculation videos, and mod reviews. 
but also doing Let's Plays in Total War series and other games. I will be doing Mass Effect Andromeda very soon. Thank you for watching and see you later.